Right, so as you can see, I'm wearing the Zack Snyder top. Uh, got the hoodie in the back. So where do I see this channel going into the future? Because right now it seems that everything is, well, not everything. Let's face it, we're still campaigning for the Snyderverse. We still have Walter and Hamada sort of in charge of Warner Brothers. But again, we have the AT&T sort of liking comments about release the Snyderverse. So what is it that we can do? What what is it? Where do we go from here? Well, really, hashtagging the Snyderverse is really... Uh, and, but for me, it's the... It's getting to see Zack Snyder's film, and he's so overexcited. He's he's not overexcited. He cannot be overexcited, but he's he's delighted the fact that his film is coming out. And on the posters, you can actually see, you know, the passion. He had the like the Death of Superman poster with the Justice League instead, and uh, now you've got like the film reel, and I, I feel uh, that that you know is a significant thing to the Snyder cut that a lot of people said didn't exist and it was like Zack Snyder's tribute to the fans that rallied behind that film. Um, there's a book coming out, release the Snyder Cut. Again, for me, it's not encompassing everybody that took part, because you can't. Everybody in their part of the town did their own thing. We had people in the UK putting money towards the campaign. You had... Um, people in their own countries uh, donating money and stuff like that the, and even the person that started it, it all started off with a simple wee tweet or an idea that then expanded and those people on YouTube started to get many more followers because they were talking positivity to, to that as again myself I started the Facebook page that grew into the hundreds and thousands on Facebook page and um, then, of course, I started doing uh, a wee bit of a YouTube channel just to, to get my mind off things. So, where does we go? Well, first of all, where is this channel going to go? Well, let's talk about the past, present and future first. Let's talk about a wee bit of what happened in the past, then we've been going to regrets, and then where the channel's gone. So, in the, in the past, as you said, I've said many times, it started off... With a DC group, it grew into a DC page for Man of Steel, and, uh, and then it grew into a huge, ginormous page uh, for the DC with uh, titles like uh, DC Fan Gives Hope, DC Vigilante, all that sort of stuff. And what is my sort of regret? Well, my sort of regret is the fact that well, it was at its highest. I was at my lowest because I'd done it like every day for so many years and I uh, it was getting top of me and I was ready to I had all these great girl uh, editors ready to step in and become the new face and voice of the page and it would have probably shot up to great more heights but at the same time, I wanted to walk walk away from it. It was becoming, it was becoming consuming to fight and to make posts every day and 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 talk about it and and defend it and everything else. And I I couldn't just walk away, not realize you know, and because I was contemplating coming off Facebook, um. I wanted the Facebook page because I'd mostly done most of the work myself. Um, to close that page down, it was hard. It was it was really hard. All my years of work gone, and my, my, but I still have that little regret that that page could have still carried on to this day and and doing a lot of good stuff with good new editors, but. For me, I like to think that that page created ideas into other people's heads that they then went on to create their own stuff. Um, so that is kind of my regret from uh, that standpoint. Uh, YouTube, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm glad I, I've 
you know, I've, I've done YouTube. Uh, it made me vent um, my worries, my anguish, my hopes, my dreams, my thoughts, my ideas out there. Um, and it was it was good. I had joined it with the page, and uh, my main drive was to actually talk to those people that liked the page to have a more one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now, there's a lot of people out there on YouTube and Facebook and stuff that they, they want to make money. Even on TikTok, they want to make money and stuff like that. Me, I'd rather just get my voice heard, to be honest, rather than think about followers or whatnot, just to get the opinions out there. That was the most important thing for me. What would be my my regrets would be probably maybe if, I, if something like this happened 20 years earlier, when I was a lot younger, when I had... Uh, more camera sweat suave, you know, uh, uh, that I knew stuff, um, how to edit, uh, that I had the technology, the cameras, uh, the computer suave to know when I can put stuff on the bottom of the screens and stuff like that, um, and, and spend more time with those channels and hashtagging it. Because if you look at the, the professionals out there, they, when they, when you look at the description on the YouTube channels, they're everywhere. They've they've got stuff on Instagram, Facebook, whatnot. That they've got everywhere. Twitter and and you name it. And they spend. I don't know how they can cram it all in. You know, they they must go to work the normal day. They have their families, and they and they still have time to look through the internet and and bring some great content to use guys and girls out there and they put interesting <laughs> intros uh, so yeah I, re I regret not having the time for myself to do that but um, but what I did in enjoy doing was um, when I finally got a decent phone I managed to make wee intros to it I managed to put, find out wee stickers or wee bit of music, so I actually enjoyed actually making the videos uh, and and just getting it out there, getting the voice heard and stuff like that. So I, I enjoyed that, I, I enjoyed editing wee bits and pieces with just a cheap phone and, and putting it out, so I enjoyed that process, it, it made me feel like, uh, because most of the time when you're passionate about something you don't have those people to talk to you don't um people around you are not interested you oh is this a Snyder film coming out oh, pff, Jesus. so you you try to unleash your passion uh like this so you join some twitter or fan group page and stuff so doing these videos um even though as i say i regret not having the money or the effort and the time to to do it justice and make it as professional as I can and at the same time I've enjoyed uh, doing it. So where is the channel going to go from now? Well as I said we're, we're getting it, we're getting the Zack Snyder movie uh, in, in March. It's going to be four hours long I'm, I'll probably have to buy it twice in order to see the whole thing you know uh, with the family but the uh, as far as the the videos are concerned, um, it'll probably get less and less. But, I mean, it takes a toll when you're making videos and only so many people watch it, you know. And we're now coming to the end of the long journey as well, where you have, um, with the thing that I've been talking about, the Snyderverse is, you know, it's, it's close to being upon us. It's close as, you know, Zack Snyder's film, so... Is it anything to be hyped up about? Is it anything to question? I mean, it seems to be coming in our favours. I mean, not only is the Snyderverse coming into, but there's there's even hopes of my other passion, which was Star Wars. There's talks about how Disney has suddenly realising that um, they've made a big mistake and they've cut off half their fan base by destroying Luke Skywalker's character. By not bringing back the three original heroes from the <laughs> original, sorry about that, saga. So you, 
So it, it, there seems to be more light in the, in the distance, you know, that, that it's bringing us more hope. There's, there's talks about, you know, vanquishing those last three Star Wars movies. Luke Skywalker's appearance on um, the Disney Channel, um, The Mandalorian, which of course I'm, I've not subscribed to. Because uh, it's Disney, I don't like Disney. Um, but with his welcoming him back and with Disney then reassessing their ideas, who's to say that won't happen? For the Snyderverse. We're living now under a time where everybody's in lockdown. Nobody can go to the cinema. We're living in a time where streaming services are, you know, are trying to fight, fight. their Warner Brothers is now talking about releasing most of its movies on a streaming service. AT&T want to be that streaming service that uh, gets more people interested Hence, if they want more people interested, they'll get the Snyderverse and you'll get people. Once this film comes out, you'll get people invested in what happens next. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's for those fans, similar to me, that have been disappointed in the treatment of the beloved franchises of Star Wars, of DC, um... Star Trek and whatnot. there's always light at the end of the tunnel and I think in the last two years what has been proven is studios are whistling, uh, no longer calling us trolls but calling us fans the fans that were the ones responsible for putting your show on air for giving you more series to make I mean how many series of Star Trek can we go through as long as the fans are happy you can make as many different shows as possible a lot of Star Wars shows coming out, Obi-Wan, uh, coming from the original uh, series. The, you know, So, yes, it's a great thing to be a fan. As well as, as I say, as well as this YouTube channel is going to go, well, that's for you guys and girls to decide. If you want me to carry on or whatnot, um, you need to either like or subscribe. But I'm more and more happy to walk away. Um, occasionally make one one in a blue moon I find myself doing more of the my other channel, the Inner Mind uh, where I can speak on one on one or making daft wee 10 second videos on TikTok so wherever you are in the world um, I hope you enjoy and I hope everyone else enjoys uh, this year and we get a better one uh, and let's get our Zack Snyder tops on for March. Okay, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>